Welcome back to Cooking with Kara, where I show you how to make healthy vegan recipes. And today we are going to be making sweet potato waffles. Now waffles are already something that's pretty easy to make vegan, but um, the sweet potato just gives it some extra flavor and also it's full of vitamin A, which is so good for your skin and your nails. So um, it just makes it a little bit more healthy. So all right, let's get started. Okay, so for step one, we have some already cooked and mashed sweet potato here. So you'll want to do that ahead of time. Um, but we want one and one fourth cup of mashed cooked sweet potato. Next you want one and one fourth cup of all-purpose flour. You can also use gluten-free flour if you prefer. And one fourth cup of cornstarch. Two teaspoons of baking powder. So there's one and two. One half teaspoon of sea salt. And lastly, one teaspoon of cinnamon. So that's it for the dry ingredients. For the wet ingredients, you're going to start with one and a half cups of any plant milk. So I'm using almond milk, but you can use soy milk, rice milk, cashew milk, whichever plant milk you prefer. For this next part, you're gonna need one eighth cups of chickpea flour and an eighth cup of water. And we're doing this on the side, so don't add this to the big bowl yet but you want to mix them together until it kind of becomes like an egg-like consistency. So this, this is a trick in vegan cooking to recreate an egg texture. And then once you get the consistency that you want, then add that to the almond milk. Then you're gonna add a tablespoon of rice vinegar. Then you want one third of applesauce, one third cup of applesauce two tablespoons of maple syrup, and lastly, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, so once it's all mixed, you're going to take a big scoop, actually like one ladle full is good. Put it on your waffle maker, which should be turned on already, and cook it according to however your waffle maker works. So once your waffle is done, um, in order to dress it, you still want to keep it vegan and low fat and healthy. So one good way to dress it up is with some sliced bananas or any fruit that you like. Um, you can also add some fruit preserves. So I've got raspberry preserves here. And of course, you can also add maple syrup, which is vegan. So there you go. I think this was a success, so um, feel free to give it a try. I think this is a really, really delicious and easy recipe. So, all right, I'll see you guys in the next one.